And hello, everybody, and welcome to this special WOW edition, normally on Wednesday, but we're sneaking in a WOW Friday. So, hey, if you want to have a WOW Friday and it's been WOW, what a week, go ahead and share in the comments below. We want to get that energy going, pick up the WOW vibe as we step into this spooky weekend of Halloween, one of my favorite weekends to have fun and to to. To, to get dressed up and see all the kids and the imaginations flowing. So um, welcome to WOW Friday edition. And I am Nancy Matthews, one of the founders of Women's Prosperity Network, along with my two sisters, and we are sisters, same mother, same father, grew up in uh, Mill Basin, Brooklyn, New York. And we have the privilege of having created this community of Women's Prosperity Network as a place for impact-focused women to come together and magnify the impact they're having in the world as they also increase their income. And those two things uh, go together quite well when you're in the zone. And today we're bringing you a longtime friend, mentor, member, colleague, sister, soul sister on so many levels, my dear friend, Burge Smith Lyons. Welcome, Burge. Thank you, Nancy. I cannot wait to play with you. You know how much I love you. I, I know. Love you, girl. We love you too. It's been too long since we've played together. So I'm grateful that we were able to carve out this slice of time to be together. And for everybody that's here, we're going to go for about 30 minutes or so in conversation and who knows what else with Burge. And then we will open up for some questions. So you can put them uh, either in the chat below on Facebook, or you can raise your hand when we get to that point. And I'll give you the cues as to when the time is for that. So before we kick in, let me share just a little bit about uh, Burge Smith Lyons. So she is a transformational leader. She's the founder of Essence of Being, as well as the Conscious Leadership Academy. She's been teaching Essence of Being, which I'm going to have her explain in a few minutes. Uh, she's been teaching that since 1993, having taught tens of thousands of men, women, and children across six continents how to live their life from the essence of their being. I have taken her workshops. We have uh, brought her to the community of Women's Prosperity Network and so many of our members, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, have been through her programs. And just the other day, uh, we got a thank you note from two of our members, Wendy and Peggy Lee, who both just needed to reach out and say, thank you for introducing me to Burge. She's changed my life in the best way possible. So welcome, Birch. <laughs> I'm glad you added the best way possible. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No, I'm glad. No, it's just been a miraculous, impactful, synergistic connection between Women's Prosperity Network and Essence of Being because we've just been able to really support so many women and men too, right? Those powerful, delicious yeah. men and, and our children and our families together. So I've, I'm just honored to be on this path with you, my dear. Yes, yes. Um, it, it's a good ride. It's a good ride. And yeah. tonight, there, there's another gift that Burge has. Um, and, you know, you might call it, she's, she's a vessel for um, messages to come through from some a, a group of teachers called Shamanasta. And I don't think we've ever opened up this part of the conversation with our community before. So uh, when I first experienced it with you and uh, I was like, you know, Birds, this is really good. We, we, let's do more of this. And uh, if you're familiar with a Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks, it's similar but different. So can you, or, or not different, I don't know. Burj, explain a little bit. Sure, yeah, it's definitely, I'll never forget. I mean, I've been doing this, the, you know, the Essence series and all the workshops and all the stuff just for forever. And I've been channeling since 1996, but I've been kind of like a secret channel. I have a woo-woo, what I call my woo-woo class called Higher Vibes. And I'll never forget the day I'm sitting on Trisha's porch, I think, with you oh, yeah. in the swing. And you said, you know, you need to be doing that more. And I've been doing these Higher Vibes classes and I've been doing these channeling for people privately, but I hadn't really 
uh, put it out there in a way that, um, you know, and I know Esther and Esther and I have commiserated on how we started and all of that and how we have been, um, how, it, how it came to pass. And um, so this is, this is a new experience doing it mm -hmm. for our communities like this. And I am doing it now. I have an actual website. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, instead of Essence of Being, I've had forever, right? I've had Shama, now I have shamanasta.com and we're doing group channeling every month with two, twice a month. And so, yeah, it's a, um, basically we all have these gifts. We all have gifts on how to connect with source, universe, God, energy. Um, and one way to do that, a lot of us are empathic. A lot of us know things, see things, feel things. We get information and messages from beyond or from different dimensions or perhaps just a knowing, maybe from our ancestors or from, um, you know, people believe in angels. And, and it's not about, hey, believe this or believe that or this is wrong and this is right. It's just a way of, for some of us, we're, well, we're all conscious channels. Let me just say that right now. Every one of us uh, human beings, we're all conscious channels. Sometimes we just don't know it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure all of you have said before, oh, you've said something exactly the same. You said it exactly right, the same way, the same person. And that person went, wow, how did you know that? Or that was the perfect thing to say. And you may have said, I don't know where that came from. I, I, I don't know. It right. just kind of, it just came to me it and just it was came. perfect. And right? then, the, and then they might say, can you repeat that? And I'm like, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's, that's a conscious channel, right? Yeah. So yeah. It, it's really powerful to just kind of lean into that, you know, and say, okay, uh, I'm getting this from somewhere. So a trans channel is something a little different, wherein uh, basically I, um, I, and I did this by accident. Uh, my origin story of it, I guess, for this mm -hmm. is um, my dad had died and I wanted to connect with my dad and I was teaching workshops and all of that. And I knew about energy and I was doing all of these other energetic kind of emotional work. And I did a little ceremony about a year after he died. And uh, unbeknownst to me, I opened up a portal and I opened up this vortex. And uh, basically he came to me and it, it kind of freaked me out. I was like, uh, I didn't mean for you to come like you came. Like, that's not what I meant. I just wanted to connect with you and kind of like have a conversation with you. But Basically, I opened up this portal and um, he came through. <laughs> it was weird and freaky. And so I said, oh, this is not what I meant, but it opened mm -hmm. it up. Therefore, mm -hmm. I went ahead and started pursuing this way of communicating and this way of uh, connecting. And it Can took me share? about a year. I, I want to share something because... Yeah. I had a similar experience, but I wasn't, it wasn't intentional to open up this portal or channel. I was at an event speaking with a woman who was there, just getting to know her. And she mentioned to me that her husband had passed away. And then within about 30 seconds, all of a sudden I had a message from her husband coming through me to give to her. Oh, and I was see. like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Right. right. <laughs> so, and it, and, and I brought that up when you mentioned, you know, when you, when you first had that experience, it was scary. And I think many of us, I know for me, the unfoldment of my spiritual gifts has been scary at times and I get scared and I shut it down. Well, you're not the only one. So a lot of people do do that because, again, we are all very open when we're born. And so we all have our imaginary friends and we have. And so we for for many of us, we have been taught, you know, shut that down. Don't don't open that part up. It's weird. It's scary. It's mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, it's against our religion or whatever it is. You know, it's just it, it, it's it's strange. And so luckily I was not it wasn't strange to me because I was dealing in energy and emotional stuff mm -hmm. and spirituality mm -hmm. anyway but I wasn't planning on it to come in the way it did. And so I, I pursued it and I said, look, if I can add value, um, and it took me about a year to really fine tune the channel. And it really is like a radio station. It's sort of like you, you tune into all these different channels to see which one kind of 
is sticks basically that you align with and that right. feels um you know in in connection with you and alignment so, is, so so is that why esther hicks refers to it as um abraham is who speaks through her and your channel is shamanasta right we asked you know we asked their names and and it is a group soul like abraham and they actually even sound like abraham and it's a group soul group energy and some people um, you know, they'll bring it in and they'll, uh, some people just bring in one energy at a time. Some people are mediums. I'm not a mm -hmm. medium necessarily. I don't do fourth dimension. And again, I teach all this stuff now because I've been doing it for so long, but the fourth dimension, um, is the, where the mediumship works, where they can connect with people who have passed through the veil. And, and I go beyond that. I go to the fifth dimension and beyond, and there are a lot of different dimensions there. So it's fascinating just to play with it. And I always say, look, there are protocols that you want to make sure you're doing mm -hmm. in place so that you're not playing out there. And, you know, some people, <laughs> they don't know how to come back, you know? So I say just, that's why I like to teach people how to, how to do it because from experience, you know, I, I had to learn. I had to learn how to manage it in a way where I, my body could handle it and I knew what I was doing and mm -hmm. I felt more comfortable with it. And so now, I mean, I, you know, it's, it's, it's like talking to you and me. I mean, it's like, you know, it's no big deal. However, it took a while for me to kind of navigate my way through. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, like I said, I've been kind of undercover. Uh, in that so, I only do that in my higher vibes class, yeah. which are people that are attracted to that kind of work, because there are so many other things that we do, right? Yeah, well, and so let me ask you this question. And first of all, thank you for um, honoring that nudge I got that said, you know, <laughs> there's something there that is going to help more people. So you might want to take a look at that. Um, and how does it relate or connect with what you do through essence of being so a lot of the uh i get a lot of my um exercises that i do my processes that i have for people about how to move them through their subconscious beliefs and going into very deep places uh on a spiritual emotional mental level i've gotten a lot of that through shamanasta they've said do this do this do this mm. you know and they and so they're very practical in some ways. People can call in like I do, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll ask very specific questions about, you know, should I, should I eat this? Or they'll be very global with, you know, what, what the hell's happening with COVID or what's happening in the, you know, what's, why is all this happening? And I remember when we had 9-11, uh, I had a whole group of people come to my house and, you know, we're like, there are about 40 of us here and they're all like, why is this happening? So in times of great, trauma and stress and uh, upheaval and you know people often need guidance and they often need some kind of a structure to just put it in context about why is this happening in the world and what's next you know what does the future hold and shamanasta came and just basically explained all of it you know in a way that people could kind of chew on and go okay I, all right let me relax let me relax mm -hmm. in that and see how that lands you know so it's just been very, uh, very, a very personal thing with, with Shamanasta and I, and like they came through um, in, a, in a time that I wasn't expecting it, but they've really helped with Essence of Being, my Conscious mm -hmm. Leadership Academy, mm -hmm. all the different workshops that we've done over the years. Uh, they support us in some of those processes. They just come from, I don't know, somewhere, wherever, yeah. they, you know, fifth and dimension and beyond. Yeah, and let me let me share that um, you know having been through um, most of your workshops, the processes that you do they are very deep. And one of the things that I want to acknowledge you in is the way that you not only get people to get to a root cause or issue or trauma, you bring them back through it in a way that really has them feel whole and healed going through the process because sometimes when we dig up that crap it don't feel so good and then you feel like you're left with a wide open wound and and what i respect about the work you do is you take them through all the way to the other side 
so that they can. And we don't mean crossing the veil. No, no, no. Take them through a process so that again, they're you, you're not going through, you're not digging stuff up and feeling crappy at the end of it. You f- you feel completed in in right. whatever that was. I right. guess that's thank the way you, to say you. it. Yeah, thank you for that because that is exactly what Shamanasta had said that a lot of people you go to that place and there's something on the other side, and so the most important part of any kind of transformation that people go through is when they've realized something and they have an awareness or an aha and it brought it to a conscious level, then what do you do after that? That's the most mm-hmm, important part mm-hmm. to shift it to a new decision right then and there. That is the magic. That's the alchemy that happens. Right. And that's why it's such a cellular shift for so many people because they tried to ex- they explain that to us uh, that that's the way to do it. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I... I, I feel like they add a lot of value. And I said, I'll keep doing this as long as they add value. And as long as it adds value to people, I'll continue to do it, you know, and yeah. it's been very energizing for me. Yeah. Um, so, so tonight, will we be able to hear from Shamanasta? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. I'm sure the audience wants to. Um, yeah. So, so how would that work? Somebody would so, ask a so question or... So- yeah, so here's okay. the what I'll do is this. I mean, normally, so again, I'm doing my group channeling, shamanasa.com, and uh, tomorrow, actually, I know you're probably going to tell people, but you can actually join us uh, twice a month or do our all-access thing, and you can get very specific questions. The format of that is for two hours. You call in or you Zoom in, you ask, or you can email, you ask specific questions that you would like to know, and oftentimes how Shamanasta works, it's fabulous. They they actually answer the questions before you ask it, so it's it's really kind of funny, you know. Okay. They, yeah, that that people have all these questions and then they'll say, "Well, you just answered them before I could ask it." So, <laughs> you know. And the other thing that happens is when you're in the energy of it, okay, when you're in the energy of this, you will actually uh, rise to that level or that vibration. And so when you go back and listen to the recording. It's fascinating how you go, I don't remember that, or, or mm-hmm. now I understand what that means, because you hear it from a different perspective yeah. when, you're rec- when you hear the recording, I think as opposed we, to you, when it's happening. I think you did one with me two, two and a half years ago, and I have it on my phone, so I can't wait to go back and listen now <laughs> after all this time, like, right? That would be kind yeah, of cool. Yeah, because you'll hear something completely, you're like, oh, now I get it, or now it lands in a different it, yeah. way in your body, and you go, oh, okay. Wow, I had yeah. so you connect the dots differently mm-hmm. sometimes. Yeah. So yes, we can do that. The format, uh, and again, uh, I'll be doing a communications class, which is not showing us stuff. But the communication part of this is, you know, we you communicate with yourself all the time with your thoughts, right? Mm-hmm. And you also mm-hmm. communicate with each other, and then now you can communicate with spirit, yeah. energy, yeah. and the format of what we'll do. Now, if you want to, like I said, is um, it's going to be a little different when we do the group channeling. I I don't know if I want to answer any questions necessarily, but you might have questions in mind or thoughts. Mm-hmm. So if you want to have a thought about something, um, just think about something and let's have Shamanasa can come through for a little bit and just speak and see what they have to say. I never know what they're going to say. I have no clue because I'm in a trance, right? So right. I leave my body. And they come in and they basically start speaking. And then once they, sometimes they'll ask for questions and sometimes uh, they won't. So if it, if it arises, Nancy, if people have a question, okay. maybe we can ask one and see what happens. You know, I just don't know, you know, how it's going to go because I'm not here. Right. So, you're not in charge. Right. I'm not in charge. So, <laughs> yeah. So I, all right, that sounds well, great. Cow, right? Oh, that that is one of my biggest lessons. So when you go to the Burgess workshops, the the Essence of Being series, any one of them, and make sure you go to the website and um, check that out at essenceofbeing.com. Um, she's got these Burgisms, let's call them. I think that's what they are officially is Burgisms. And trust and allow and don't ask how was a big one for me. And another one was my vulnerability is my strength. My vulnerability is my strength. And that was a that was a big turning point for me to not have to 
always be perfect and look perfect and ask for help and receive and like big lessons there for all of that. You're not perfect. I am perfect. You're I perfect am just perfect. the way you are, honey. You're I am. I don't have to get everything right all the time. How about that? That's better. And I get yeah. it right in the way it's supposed to meant to be. Yeah. yeah. So I can. So if that's okay, if that's what you want to do, that's that's fine. I'll do. Yeah. Go ahead and give you like a sample, I guess, of what they yeah. do. And and um, well, what I'll do is if they ask, if you ask a question, that's that's fine. Or I don't know how long we want to. You know, yeah. I'll, so what I'll like a. Very yeah. What one. what I'll do is I will. Um, if you want to ask a question, you can raise your hand on the computer if you have a question. And you're watching uh, with you're with us through Facebook, then uh, go ahead and post it in the comments, and I will open you up at a certain time. So don't just unmute yourself, but you can raise your hand to let me know that maybe you have a question, and um, do your process, my friend. Okay, well I will. So um, and just for giggles, let's see. I wanna I wanna do this. Ta-da! Changing my background. All right, because Shalanasta's coming in. Oh, All there right. you go. Okay, so yeah, and again, this is, I don't normally do this, you guys. I'm just letting you know, this is not normal that I do this. This is the first time, actually, I think, the first time I've ever done like a little preview of, mm -hmm. of this, and certainly with... As it should be with me, you know, where else would you do this? <laughs> um Excellent. And then so once again, keep yourselves muted, raise your hand um, for if you have a question. And then when the time is right, I'll go ahead and open you up. Yeah, and definitely you can join us tomorrow to get really specific questions or I'm assuming you'll let people know or I'll let them know after we're done, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 Greetings, we are pleased to be here in this time and place and we want to be able to hmm, support all of you and your, hmm, your quest for knowing and your quest for wanting to be able to create what you want in your lives. And we understand that for many of you, it has been frustrating and been isolating and has been mm, sad for some. And mm, for others, it has been mm, more of a grateful time. And what we want to share with you is this, that all the things that are happening in your planet and on your planet now, is one of great mm, movement. There is mm, a movement toward unity. And when there is a movement toward unity, all the things that you know that have duality, like right and wrong, good and bad, sick and healthy, left and right, and all of those things that have dual purposes, mm, oftentimes it gets confusing. And it gets confusing about mm, who's right and who's wrong. and we understand that many of you have been living in more of a divisive energy lately. And we understand that for many of you, you're looking for the middle ground or you're looking for the answers. And most of you who are light workers and wanting to be able to make a difference in the world are choosing to stand out and choosing to speak up. And it is time for that because as you know, the Aquarian age is upon you. And what we want to say around all of that is that when you have chaos, oftentimes that is the birthplace. Think about when you have a storm and the storm creates a lot of chaos and there's a lot of things whirling around that can hit you and bump you and hurt you. And for many of you, if you stand in your center, and you stand in the middle of the hurricane or the eye of the hurricane, we have talked about this many times, that 
if you stand in the eye of the hurricane, you realize that you are the center, that you are the eye. And what we mean by that is the big eye. You are the eye. And instead of leaning into all the things that are not working in your life and leaning into all the things that are bumping around and hitting you from all the debris, instead of looking around at all of that, just take a moment and stand out and stand in your center and take a breath and say, I am. I am centered. I am connected. And when you do that, you can feel the safety. You can feel the peace. You can feel the connection of what is happening toward unity. And again, like we say, when there is chaos and there is a storm, it births new things. In other words, when you have a storm, it creates new growth. And we understand that new growth for many of you can be scary. New growth or new direction, or many of you are asking questions of which way do I go? What do I do? How do I do this? And mm, to understand if you relax into that, and instead of being so upset or so concerned about how's it all going to work, what is going to happen to this planet? What is going to happen to me? What is going to happen to my family? What is going to happen to my job, my business, my energy, my planet? Instead of being concerned about all of that for a moment, what we suggest is to just take a breath, to stop and say, I choose. I choose to know that all is well. I choose to know that in this moment in time, I have clothes on my back. I have food on my table, and I know that I'm making a difference, no matter if I can see it or not, whether I know it or not. I know that I matter and that I'm here for a reason. And we understand that many of you keep asking that. You keep asking why. Why am I here? Why do I do the things that I do? Why does any of this matter? Why do I matter? And we want to soothe your thoughts around all of this and say, again, there is a movement happening toward unity, and it is confusing for many. And the unity part of this is where you come together. Sometimes you have to go apart to come together. Sometimes you have to isolate to know what is most important. Sometimes you have to let go in order for you to receive. Sometimes you have to allow yourself to feel in order to move through perhaps something that hurts or something that you do not want to feel. And what we mean by that is many of you are pushing away all the things you do not want. You are pushing it all away and saying, I don't want to focus on that. And we know that this one always says what you focus on expands, yes? And we understand that that is the conundrum at times with new thought is when you say what you focus on expands, that is true. And at the same time, what we are saying is that if you feel something you do not want to feel, or you think about something you do not want to feel or think about, instead of pushing it away, acknowledge it and say, I see you. I hear you. I acknowledge that that is there. I embrace that part of me that is there. I embrace the fear. I embrace the sadness. I embrace all the things that I feel is not working for me now. And acknowledge it. And then once you acknowledge it, then it will not nip at your heels constantly and say, please pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to what's not working. In other words, if you can embrace all the things that you have in your life right now, and of course, you've heard this about gratitude and also about allowing and focusing on look to your left, look to your right, and you can see something that you can appreciate in your life. It will raise your vibration. It will raise your acknowledgement that all is well for the moment, in this present moment, in this time. Do you understand? Yes. Indeed. And so what we say to all of you here is this, that mm, you are doing extremely well and that you are mm, certainly mm, 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 making a difference just by existing. Do not fear that you're not doing enough. Do not fear 
that you are not enough because dear ones, mm, you are certainly mm, mm, here for a reason. And you came to this moment in time in a human suit for a reason. And the reason is to experience. And if your experience is a negative one, meaning you do not think that things are working for you all the way that you'd like, then mm, what we want you to know is that you are the one who chooses negative and positive. And mm, haven't you done something that you've been afraid to do before or that you thought was not a good thing to do and you did it anyway and it turned out to be the best thing you ever did? And haven't you had evidence and experiences in your life where it was hard, but you went through it? And mm, if you had not gone through it, then you would not be where you are today. It is just one way of looking at things, perhaps in a little different perspective of, mm, yes, focus on your goals. Yes, focus on what you want. Yes, focus on what is working. And at the same time, acknowledge and do not be afraid of the chaos. Do not be afraid of all of the things that you are going through that, mm, that it will always be that way. Because as you know, mm, there is always change. And mm, Mm. This is something that is happening for growth. And if you look at it as I choose, I choose to feel, I choose to know, I choose to allow instead of I don't want to, or I should have done that, or I could have done that, change your shoulds and your woulds and your coulds to I choose. And if you do that, then it shifts you out of that perspective of guilt and perspective of sadness and perspective of I don't know. And mm, we are here to support you in that awareness. Mm, and we are mm, pleased that so many of you are waking up and asking for mm, support in that mm, there is such bright lights in the world and you are that bright light. And we want you to know that mm, as long as you have life force and as long as you keep that passion in your belly and that blue light, that blue flame in your belly, that life force running through you, that all will be well. And just turn your life force up. Do not be afraid to turn your life force up. We know that many of you have dimmed your light and we are saying, light up, light up as much as you can, because it is time for you to do that if you choose to. And you are not alone. That is what we want you to know today. Mm. Is there more here? Yes, there's more here. How do you embrace physical illness, degenerative spine causing pain? It's not easy to embrace that. Indeed, this one asks that all the time because certainly there have been a lot of illnesses certainly going on now. And there have been a lot of mm, mm, sickness and unhealth. And when we say embrace it, it is not, mm, it is loving your body. It is loving the part of you that you wish were not happening. So when you say to yourself, I hurt, I'm in pain, and uh, it's getting worse, when you're doing that, you're acknowledging that you're in pain and it's getting worse, of course. And what we would prefer you to say is that mm, I love that part of me that has lived and that is. Mm, loving itself into a whole nother change. And I choose to love that part of me that I have felt has betrayed me. In other words, when you were at war with your body, your body will continue to be at war with you. And we suggest that you stand in front of a mirror and you sit in front of a mirror and you love your body and you caress your body because it is a living thing. And it is part of why you are here in this humanness. And mm, instead of saying I'm in pain and it hurts mm, for just a moment, mm, what we suggest is you try that, is you sit or stand in front of the mirror and love that part of you that is hurting. And it is not saying it will continue. It is saying, in other words, love heals all, does it not? Mm. Mm. Thank you. Indeed. Mm. There is much love here for all of you. Mm -hmm. 
May we ask another question? Yes. All right, Colleen, I'm gonna unmute you. Colleen, you can unmute yourself and ask your as, question. There you go. Uh, as I begin my, my spiritual leadership journey, um, what am I not seeing that I need to see? Mm. Mm. Perhaps you are blinded to how bright you really are, do one. In other words, many of you are asking this, what is it that I'm not seeing? And perhaps, the answer is you're not seeing your own bright light, that turn up your light, do not be afraid to shine it. In other words, if you are a beacon of light and you are playing with this beacon and you're turning it up like a gas stove, that blue light is mm, your life force. And mm, for some of you, it feels like you might blind other people and they might not understand you and you might be afraid of judgment or you might be afraid they will leave you or they might be afraid of, of you. And what we want you to know is that mm, as long as you mm, keep your light dim, and we know that you are mm, certainly mm, expanding the knowledge base that you have of mm, all of this, and mm, perhaps mm, be with like-minded people that do understand you and are not afraid of that for you, and to remind you of how bright you are and what your light is. So mm, probably the most important thing to remember is to let go of any judgment or let go of any fear of judgment. Mm. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. Indeed. All right. All right, next I'm gonna open up for Aralia. Your line is open. Uh, yes, uh, I would like to ask, what is the one thing that I can do to launch my business and experience financial security? I have a situation where I don't want to get into all the details, but my mother is getting ready to cross over and I feel very vulnerable because she's always, for so many reasons, I don't want to give all the reasons. I think you understand where I'm coming from. Indeed. It is, it is, mm, we would like to soothe your your fear around all of this or your your angst and perhaps mm, to know and understand that mm, in order for her to be able to support you even greater to cross through that that great veil to be able to embrace and embody mm, and support you from that side as others have done and to say to her mm, I understand I understand and I I choose to embrace this part of you that is expanding. And through her expansion, you will expand, dear one. And you are connected very much with her and with all of your beings that have connected with you. And you do have your guides. You do have earth angels. And you also have spirit guides that support you in this. And just to say to them, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready for the expansion. And I am willing to do whatever it takes to break free of whatever is blocking me or that is mm, 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 stopping me from mm, allowing myself to mm, mm, have more of an impact in the world. And for most of you, that fear is again that fear of judgment is that fear of who will i have to leave or who will leave me if i play big and i am successful in whatever that looks like to you and just know that every light that you turn to you are successful as long as you are adding value along the way dear one do you understand yes thank you very much thank you Indeed. All right, Aralia. Next. And mm, Go ahead. we are mm, mm, wanting to, mm, to be with all of you here and to let you know that all is well. And we certainly want you to know that mm, mm, we are always here for you. All you have to do is mm, ask. And that is true for all of your helpers and all of your uh, connections that you have to be able to say, I know I'm not alone, 
and I choose to hear, see, know, and feel what will serve me in the greatest way now. And with that, dear ones, we are complete. Ah. Hello. Ah. Oof. And that was Shaman Alistair Speaks. <laughs> <laughs> I meet my friend Burge again. <laughs> I need a cigarette and I don't even smoke. <laughs> that was powerful, my friend. Um, oh, I'm glad. I hope you were recording it. Yes, yeah, so it's being recorded. It's on uh, the Facebook and, and it'll be in our Facebook group so people can always uh, tap into it. There were a few more questions uh, that people had. And what I would say is um, attend Shamanasta Speaks, which is happening tomorrow. Was it from 12 to 2? Is that what time yeah, it is? Tomorrow, tomorrow Eastern. Can, yeah, it's 12 to 2 Eastern Standard. And um, you can, I'm doing it twice a month. It's group channeling just like that, only you get to ask your question and they're very specific for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's for two hours. Um, that's tomorrow from 12 to 2. And if you just go to shamanasta.com or I don't know if you're putting your... Yeah, I put the link in the chat. Link in yeah. The, okay, great. So you can put your link in the chat. Uh, you can just go to that link, which is tomorrow. We also are doing it November 3rd. And that'll be from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. So uh, you'll have two opportunities, one tomorrow and one um, November 3rd as well. But I do it twice a month. And um, awesome. you can go, you can be live on that. If you do the all access, basically you can join us every month. You get two live ones. You can ask them questions just like that. Um, but also uh, there's uh, a bonus that you get every month as well for what they have awesome. channeled as well. Beautiful, that. beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for um, being open, being the vessel, being my friend, uh, creating so much beautiful light in the world by you saying yes to your own light and walking the path. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I appreciate you yeah. too. And I, yeah. I definitely, um, I think again, the impact that, that women's prosperity network and essence of being have made and what we do together is just magical. The alchemy is, is, uh, visceral. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Claudia had a question uh, of you. Okay. Did you study this somewhere specific or was it self-learn? You know, where would you guide us to consciously study the dimensions to better understand them? Is this something you teach also yeah. now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Claudia, this is the source for you right here. <laughs> well, the, yeah, the, high, the higher vibes class that I do, which is the, the energetic, um, higher consciousness class that I do uh, that we definitely go into and I'm teaching a channeling class for people that really want to open up to this part of their experience they can um, join that as well but if you if you go to essenceofbeing.com you can just look at all the different schedule of events that we're doing but mm -hmm. anytime that um, anytime that we're teaching this or having these experiences and I do it privately as well but I like doing it in groups too so yeah. I'm I learned all this through trial and error, I guess. And I had many gurus over the years, but you know, uh, I've been doing this, like I said, almost um, channeling like this since 96, doing essence of being and all of that type of stuff for almost 40 years now. So 30 oh, years yeah. essence of being, but yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just gathering all of this. And, and you know what the real truth is, um, you just have to trust it. You have to trust what's coming to you and allow it mm -hmm. because people, you know, doubt, everybody has doubts, yeah. you know, and th the more you trust it and allow it, the easier uh, it comes to you. That's why I like yeah. trust and allow and don't ask how. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I can give yeah. you the structure behind it. Awesome. And Claudia, did you have a follow-up for Burge? 
No, that was that was wonderful. I mm. thank you, Birds. It's so wonderful to see the two of you. It brings back wonderful memories. I know. Did you meet <laughs> you met her at the unconference? Is that how you connected with her? Um, no, we we did essence of being together with her. Well, yeah, I, we did. Then I didn't know if you can, that have, was when I met Birds as well. At essence of being, because Jody, Jody, I think Jody, Jody, brought, yeah, 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 Jody that's brought right. me in exactly. Perfect. Yeah. And so how do I remember that, this? <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> because you care about the people you serve, honey. You know, that's yeah. the truth. Yeah, <laughs> Imprinted it. Our people that we get to work with we, is such a privilege. And, and I know this happens for you, too. It's like they're imprinted in our spirits and in our hearts. It's it's that it's what it's all about, baby. And it was what it's all about, about group, for sure. Group. Yes. So what was that, Claudia? I was saying it was a pretty memorable group too. Yes. It was yes, a pretty it memorable was. experience. It, it was. So many different levels. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you came back to do Passionate Manifestation, but Nancy did. Yes, I, I did. I moved out for a while and now I'm yeah. back. So I'm looking Very forward good. to spending more yeah. time with you ladies. <laughs> awesome. We're grateful for that as well. Oh, all right, my friend. Um, again, Burge, thank you for being with us. Um, Audrey's in the house. Do you have time for another question? It's not a it won't be a channeling if you have a Burge question. Sure. Okay. I'm just checking to take, you know, you'll tell yeah. me what your energy needs. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, okay. Um, Audrey, you can go ahead and ask your question. I had no intention of asking a question, but this <laughs> Oh, you raised Hello, your hand. I did? Yeah, look at you. You're so powerful. You didn't even know it. <laughs> no, I just want to hear your voice. It's great it's to hear your voice. It's a pleasure to see you. I'm launching a whole new course also. I mean, can I ask about that? Well, no, we're not doing channeling now. Okay. That, part, that part is done. No, so, it's a pleasure to see you. Yeah. It's a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to see uh, you. And I will say this. I love Burgess courses. I'm not allowed yeah. to say anything about them because we're not allowed to say anything about them. You know, like what we do. <laughs> well, we promise that. But let's just say it certainly had an impact on me. And awesome. I did things I never thought I could do, which because I did mastery. And that's all I'll say about that. All right. Good job, Audrey. Love you, girl. You. Mm, lots of love to you. And if yeah. you want some of that, that good channeling stuff, join uh, Shamanasta. Go to the link that I put in the chat. And she's doing a class tomorrow. So you could join for that. Uh -huh. Perfect. Yeah. So that link will take you to just tomorrow or will it take them to the November 3rd as well? It's all on that one page. Everything's okay. on the one page Perfect. that we're sending them to. So they have choices. Awesome. Um, You're so and good. Then they, yeah, I, 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 I do. I am good. I'm you are awesome. I'm you freaking are, awesome. You are actually. freaking awesome. <laughs> Takes one to know one. And <laughs> that's what our community is filled with. So I want to say thank you to Burge for making time to be with us tonight, honoring the space of Shamanasta um, coming through to all of you for showing up uh, in your sense of curiosity and commitment to shining your light to be the difference that you're here to be in the world and we thank you for for joining us in the community of women's prosperity network and with that i'm going to happy hour how about you i'm i'm happy i'm happy okay good i'm happy too <laughs> let's go get happy okay. all right thank you everybody thank you birch have a beautiful night and happy thank halloween thank happy you. halloween all right bye everybody thank you you're welcome. Bye, everyone. Love. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I'll be the last. <laughs>